Hello, and welcome back. I have uh, been doing a little bit of mining, as you saw in the intro. Probably took me about probably two hours, two and a half hours, somewhere in there. And I managed to uh, make myself my first diamond pickaxe. Because I needed some obsidian for the build that we're doing today. Got a lot of stuff. And we also found an abandoned mine shaft, which I only really raided one chest. So I got some pumpkin seeds from that. So we'll add the pumpkin and beetroot to our farming area down the hill that we started last time. I also found the tiniest lush cave. So I grabbed a little bit of moss so we can make some more of that. And I also found a geode. I'm planning on using some of these amethysts in the build today. So that's a really good, good thing that we found that. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with uh, everything that I managed to grab as far as resources from that mining trip. So now I think it's time. Oh yeah, I haven't made any more progress on, you know, the actual storage area for our seed vault. So yeah, we'll have to do that sometime today as well. So what is the plan? Oh yeah, and as you can see, copper is a part of the, uh, the build today. So we are letting it oxidize and this one's fully oxidized so I can grab that. And I did end up starting to put, put something in here. As you can see, I still need three more hay bales before this is done. But I might switch that out for something else. I thought I was going to like this a lot more than I do. Yeah, that might change. So, as cool as it is to build a building... I often find that just having a building for a building's sake is kind of boring, actually. I What I think is a lot more fun is if you have a story behind it. If you have some lore. If you have some reason why the building was created in the first place besides, you know, oh, I need a storage room. Let's build a building to store stuff like cool but I could just plop down a whole bunch of chests around and while it may not look very good you know it, it's functional it has storage area and I can use it as my storage area but that's not what I want to do here so lore behind this building and I think, I think we want to get into building our nether portal first before we talk about the lore. But just know that the nether portal and this building are linked as far as the lore goes. So, first and foremost, I have not decided on all of the lore yet. So there will be times where um, some of the lore changes going forward. But if I put it into an episode, I will try my best not to change it too drastically. Maybe I change, you know, little details or whatnot. If I do have to make a significant change, uh, I don't know. Well, I'll try to make that pretty, pretty clear and maybe I'll do an entire, maybe I'll do an entire lore episode if I'm making a huge change. So that is kind of the background. So as far as the world lore goes, the first thing I want to talk about is magic. Magic is a known and a common thing in this world. Now, not every single day does every single person do magic, and not even every single person can do magic. But it's a common enough occurrence that if people were to see magic being done, they would recognize it as magic. And... They would even, you know, recognize that there's a, a difference between, you know, certain different spells or even, you know, the power of, of a spell. Now, if, 
every single person that can do magic has probably a different level of like power level as far as magic goes and even two very similar power level of magic users may not even be able to do the same spells so there's a lot of individuality and a lot of um, minute distinctions between uh, the different magic spells and the different users of magic um, it is thought of very similar to the way that we think of technology in the real, real world. So, for example, you walk into a room and turn on a light switch. In the real world, you know, a, a magic user in this world might walk into a room and um, light a lantern or something using magic. So, that is kind of the idea behind magic in this world. Now, this area that we're building here that is going to be where our nether portal goes was actually a teleporter pad um, when the seed vault was first being uh, stocked with the from the, the wizards that created this area um, they decided that while they were stocking it they wanted it to be kind of hidden and just them to know about it so that they could uh, stock the the seed vault without having any interference once they finished they decided that they should open it up to everyone and that being you know magic users and not magic users both so that if something were to happen everybody would have access to the seed vault and they would be able to you know restock the world of with potatoes for example if potatoes ended up being wiped out of off the off the planet now, this area was um, tended to by a, we'll call him a, a caretaker of the, the seed vault for, and, and his subsequent family for many, many, many years, maybe a, maybe a century or so. But it, it eventually kind of fell out of the public consciousness and it slowly, over time, um, kind of degraded and took on a, in a neglected look. So that is how this teleportation pad area here is tied in with our storage vault. This was the, essentially the, the transit exit highway area for the storage vault. But uh, where does, you know, Minecraft doesn't have just fast travel. It has nether portals, right? We can go through the nether and travel a lot faster than we were just in, in the overworld. So, uh, what's the deal with that? Well, we're actually going to come in here and we're going to break a few blocks. Like so. Hmm. Three wide. Or do I go wider? Let's go, let's go, let's go a five wide base. And then we'll go up a few. That looks about good. Go up here again. Finish off the portal. I can't reach it. I think we're at the same height. There we go. So I think that's going to be our nether portal for our spawn area. Yeah, I think that looks good. So how does another portal fit into the lore with the teleportation pad and the seed vault? Well, there was what pretty much all the people in this world are calling an event. Nobody really knows for sure what actually happened during the event. But there was some sort of event, and that caused a whole lot of chaos to happen in the world. For example, like the zombies and the skeletons that come out at night. Yeah, they, they didn't always exist in this world. It was once a pretty peaceful world. And then something happened. And the, the zombies and the, the skeletons started appearing, started attacking people, and... People had to start, you know, defending themselves from those, those attacks. And the other major thing that happened is all of these, well, many of the teleportation pads that were in existence already before the event, well, 
portals appeared in them. And they kind of grew out of, or, you know, appeared there. So, yeah, that's where our nether portal is coming from. And how we can tie the nether portal into our lore. So, now that we have our nether portal set up, I think it's, uh, I think it's about time. What do you think? Alright, so I've got my flint and steel. I've got a number of cobblestone. I think it's time we uh, go and see what the nether is like in this world. Boom. And we. We need to go deeper. We are in a soul sand valley. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, so what am I looking for here in the nether? I actually want blackstone, as uh, strange as that sounds. I want blackstone. Might as well grab some soul sand. That lava is still flowing. All right. I'll take some soul sand. Soul soil, sorry. Soul soil is actually a really, really cool like texture block on roads and whatnot. So we'll take some of that, take some of this. Now that we have some, uh, some blackstone, there was a uh, basalt deltas not too far away that I was able to grab a whole bunch of blackstone from. I think it's time for me to build up our little spire here, our little... We're going to make like a little spire here to make it look like, you know, this portal was opened as a result of an, uh, like a, a, an event that all of the, uh, all of the people in the world have been trying to figure out what's going on. And it's also shut down the actual teleportation pad. So people can't actually just teleport here normally. They actually have to go through the nether. So if we stand back here like this and do a twirl, and just like that, we have our portal design here. I like the the look of this, like it's coming up out of the, the transportation pad that was here before. Then now we can go through and go into the nether. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, but yeah, we'll be moving on to another project here. Oh, and I, I added these little clumps here. I imagine that when this kind of formed, it little bits of it broke off and was uh, sent elsewhere. I have another one back here. I might add another one over here somewhere, but I don't need it for the light. So we'll see, we'll see. So we have, you know, this teleportation pad that got destroyed by, you know, our nether portal here. But uh, a single teleportation pad isn't very useful, is it? So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into the nether. And, well, we'll start digging a hole or digging a tunnel. There's a ghast. Hi, sir. We're going to start digging a tunnel all the way to where... Another teleportation pad used to exist, and this one also got destroyed. So, I think that uh, means I'm going to be digging for quite a while, because, uh, well, the other end of this tunnel, the uh, other end of that tunnel, is going to end up somewhere in, oh, 1,500 blocks away from here. Yeah, I'll be digging for a while, so I'll catch you guys soon. Well, we made it all the way down to the end here. Now that turned into more of a uh, 1400 long block bridge versus a tunnel 
but well it works and we are all the way out here at uh as you can see the z there is minus 1398 this is roughly where i uh want to start building our next big area so let's build a nice big nether t uh, portal do 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 But we're not going to light it. Not yet. Not yet. I have a few things I want to do first. Both of which, well, they include flying. And seeing as we are in a crimson forest here, and I've got a golden chest plate on me and a little bit of gold, I think we're going to go after some piglin trades here and try and find some ender pearls so that we can go and fight the dragon. So, mm -hmm. I'll be doing this for, um, well, mm -hmm. who knows how long. And I'll get back to you guys. All right, so this is the nether fortress that I saw from the bridge. As you can see, the bridge is up there. It's just far enough out from the bridge that I don't think you'll be able to see it on YouTube if I stand up on the bridge. And, uh, yeah, we will eventually come back here and build a wither skeleton farm. Uh, nether fortresses are especially good for wither skeleton farms because the surrounding areas don't spawn all that many mobs. And so you can have that many more wither skeletons in your farm. So, we are here for blaze rods. So let's see if we can go and uh, deal with a few of these blazes. Got two blaze rods. Can you guys... Ah! We are in trouble. Well, as you can see, I managed to make it out of the nether fortress. And I came out with seven blaze rods, which I broke down into blaze powder. And I also grabbed 14 ender pearls. Most of these were from uh, piglin bartering. Uh, I tried running around for quite a while killing endermen and I just did not get any ender pearls. So as you can probably see from my inventory, I think it's time. We're going to go and try and find a stronghold. We'll see if 14 is enough. interesting uh stronghold location it's underwater i was not prepared for this you know i figure if we just go down over here we'll still hit the uh the stronghold and down we go or we're gonna hit water right away. Guess we deal with the mobs here. Oh, would you look at that? We found the stronghold.
we have one here, which means I'm going to have to go and grab another eye. And we have the last eye of Ender. So I think, I think it's time. Time for the end of the game. Dragon is killed. We now have access to the end, and we can go end raiding, which I will, um, I'll probably do that, like, right now. But you guys are gonna have to wait for next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.